it's Ellie from TC Helicon, and I am going to walk you through the quick start guide of our new Go Guitar. Go Guitar is a mobile interface allowing you to practice guitar without the use of an amplifier, even though I do have one here. I'm going to show you how that'll work later. Or if you just uh, want to record some ideas, play around with guitar effects, this is your go to device. So Go Guitar has a headphone input, a guitar input, and an output up here, which you can use to send to either an amplifier, maybe front of house, or wherever it is that you want to send it to. I should also tell you that the uh, guitar input can also be used for any line level instrument. So a keyboard, um, we actually had a guy that uses a kind of a MIDI saxophone, he was able to plug into there as well. So any line level instrument will work through there. There is no battery, uh, it's fully powered by your mobile device. So I'll show you that in a moment. And you can use a tablet, a mobile device like a cell phone, um, and it works for Android and iOS. So let's give this a go. I've got my guitar and I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Here we go. And my headphones that in the bottom here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on the side here, we have our gain staging. So I'm gonna put that all the way down to zero, just to start. I also have an effects uh, switch here. It says effects or through. So when I'm sending my audio signal out through this output here, say I'm sending it to a sound guy in front of house. If I want to send him a clean sound without any of the effects that I'm using through a mobile app, I'm going to put it to through. If I want him to have the effects that I'm using with the app, I put it onto FX, and that'll send him an affected signal. Okay, so I'm all plugged in here, and now I'm going to plug into my mobile device. So I am using an iPad, so I'm going to use this dongle, which changes the eighth inch to lightning. Voila, we're all plugged in, put my headphones on. So the first thing I need to do with GarageBand is just make sure that um, I have my monitoring turned on. So I hit the little uh, icon that looks like a guitar jack and then I hit monitor. And now I'm gonna be able to hear myself as this is a two-way monitoring device. So now that I have that, this is gonna kind of light, light up green when it, uh, has a signal. So to give it a signal, I'm going to turn my gain up. Now you see that it's flashing green. So, sounds pretty good. Give it a little bit more. You can also see over here as well. So what you don't want is for it to light red. So I'm going to turn it up all the way. And uh, it didn't go red there, there either, so we're good. I'm still gonna turn it down just a little bit. Okay, so in order for you guys to hear what I'm playing, I'm gonna hit record. Okay, so. So you can hear I've got um, a GarageBand amp modeling um, app open. And um, just kind of playing around with the sounds. I've got a kind of a nice clean blues combo amp. Um, and it makes my electric guitar sound like an electric guitar. It's pretty, pretty awesome and uh, it's a lot of fun. So say you do have an amp that you want to use. Maybe there's just some pedals that you want to uh, play around with. Uh, you don't want the amp modeling. So I'm going to stop this. and get away, hit this pedal button. So yeah, say maybe I just wanna use the pedals and I wanna use my actual amp. So I've got this cable plugged into my input on my amp and I'm just gonna come around here and plug into, put this on standby, plug into here and flick that on. There we go. So again, if I want um, no effects from my app, maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm on stage um, and I want to record my guitar playing uh, during a gig so that I can 
uh, listen back to it afterwards and see where I've maybe made some mistakes and what I need to clean up within my set. So maybe I just want like a clean send. So I've got that FX through button on the side here and I've just uh, switched it over to through so I have a nice clean sound. And um, and I'm just using the effects on my app now. But if I want to use those effects from my uh, app here, you can hear the sound is quite different. So that's how you use the effects through and uh, the output on the Go Guitar. So it's pretty simple. It's very easy to use. It's very portable. It's very lightweight and it, you don't need any battery power. The uh, mobile device that you're using powers the Go Guitar. So definitely a really great tool for touring, for practicing, and for recording uh, your set while you're playing if you wanted to have a quick little recording. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions at all, please throw them in the comments below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and also please subscribe to our YouTube channel.